Roland. Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sachidananda Mohor Taye Nishprapanjaya Shantaye Niralambaya Teja Se Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vadanam Uruwadu Kamiva Mandanan Blitur Mokshiyamam Rutat Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Namah Shivaya Gurave, Sachidananda Mohor Taye, Nishprapnjaya Shantaye, Nidalambaya Teja Se Om, Trayambakam Yajamahe, Sukandim Pushtivadanam, Uruwadu Kamivabandanam, Vidit your mokshiya mamrutat om shanti 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 om 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 Hi there, this is me, Sally Kirkland, and I have with me tonight a very special friend who came all the way from Sweden, who's been here in Los Angeles for his first time, almost at the end of two weeks, Kenneth Carlson. Hello. Hello. And I thought it would be so much fun if we did something tonight that I do every once in a while where I get to ask you questions and you get to ask me questions. Okay. Okay? Yep. So um, maybe I'll start with yeah. you. Okay, okay, okay. So when you were a little kid in Finland or yeah, Sweden? Yeah, I was born in Finland and, and then, yeah, then I moved to Sweden. When you were how old? Uh, uh, 20. 20. I, I, w I went to uh, university in Sweden. So it would be really fun for me if you said something in Finnish and then in Swedish. Tell me what to, th what to say. Uh, uh, say I'm happy to be on Channel 36 television. Olen iloinen, että olen kanavassa, what was it? 36. Uh, 36. Now do it in Swedish. Jag är så glad att vara här på kanal 36. I love that. So the subtitles read, I'm so happy to be here on Channel 36. I love yeah. that. My movie, Anna, as you know, uh, I, I spoke Czech. Dobry den means mm -hmm. good day. And I had this memory prior to watching it with you and our friend Claire. I had this memory that there were subtitles, but there were no subtitles. No, I don't. I, not on the DVD, at least. Uh, uh, um, I speak a little Russian or a lot. Spasiba. Uh, spasiba. Uh, and uh, actually, Czech, Czech uh, it's um, similar to Russia, Russian. Russian. Yeah. yeah, so I understand Czech. I, I've been to Prague. So really? Yeah, and you, I think your accent, I don't know Czech, but I think it was very good. Oh, good. Yeah. Now, when I spoke Czechoslovakian, was that good? Yeah, it was. Because I, I understood what you said. I didn't need those subtitles. Uh -huh. So, I, I mean, you were very believable. Oh, thank you. I haven't heard it from anyone who actually knows the language or Russian. It was yeah. good to hear it from but you. But it's a very diff uh, different and very, very d difficult uh, language. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, you speak uh, Finnish, Swedish, Russian, French? Uh, my mother, uh, my mother uh, language is Swedish, uh, uh -huh. and then I moved uh, when I was little. Uh, I, I spoke speak Finnish, Finnish. So fluently, and uh, English uh, with a heavy accent. Uh, and I speak German, uh, and I speak uh, r Russian, uh, and Spanish. So is that six? Yeah, uh, five or six. I don't know. Wow. But, my, but my Spanish needs uh, needs to be brushed help. up. Yeah, yeah. Because I, when you don't speak, you you forget. So. But, you know, I would think that you would be very, like if we were on a desert island and it was the end of the world or whatnot, and there were people there from all different places, you, you would be very necessary because you're, you're a communicator. You can talk to all different people from around the world. Yeah, I can. And I mean, here in Los Angeles, it's a perfect place to, to, to speak because you have the whole world here. Right. And, and um, I was in a small... Uh, we had a small problem at the cemetery the other day. Now you have to say which cemetery? Uh, the Hollywood Forever. Hollywood I, I Forever. went there to, to look at uh, beautiful graves and... and, and um, Tell us who you saw. Uh, Rudolf Valentino. Oh. That, that was the main thing because he is... Um, I, I saw his movies. So. 
uh, yeah, but there was a Russian guy there. I, I, I there's uh, like five uh, miles per hour you, you're supposed to drive, uh -huh. and I drove five, and he was honking behind behind me, and I got mad. So uh, he stopped, and I stopped, and he came out of the car shouting in Russian, and he didn't expect me to know Russian, so, <laughs> so I. I told him off. Uh, I, I'm not going to repeat the word. No, no, do repeat it. No, I called him an, an asshole in, so in Russian. So do that in Russian. Uh, durak. That's Burak. Durak. I durak. Durak. D, D. Durak. Dur durak. Yeah. And you durak. can say poly durak. That's like in English. Italy, if I said Leon Stronzo, mm, that means that you are a shit, right? Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, I didn't know that, yeah. So I, I think Russian is, if, you, if you're angry, Finnish is a very good, uh, they are, it's a strong language. So uh -huh. if you say perkele, that means uh, hell, like right. hell, you're, you're angry, so. Yeah. I love that. I'm jealous of people who speak a lot of... Uh, yeah, but it's so good to, to know because, I mean, yeah. and in my line of work in Sweden, like, uh, I'm an investigator for the police. Right. So I encounter all... So I have to ask you a question about uh, that. Do you carry a gun when you no, do No, I that? don't because no. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sitting behind a desk and I'm right. interviewing people. Uh, r not right now. Now, now I'm, I'm uh, working with um, immigrants. Right. Uh, yeah, so, but I mean, they come from all over the place. Right, and so you become very uh, necessary. Yeah, it, it it helps my work. Sure. I don't need uh, an interpreter, and you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. My mother uh, came from Oklahoma, Oki, You know, very poor family. Her father was in the army, colonel. Died when I was one, and she was so bright. She got into Vassar on a scholarship. Okay. She graduated with honors, and she spoke like you. You know, about four or five more, less than you, but four or five languages. Uh, and then she became fashion editor Vogue and the Life and. When she would travel to Italy, she would speak Italian. She traveled to France with Christian Dior. She speak French. Yeah. Um, she spoke some Spanish, so she would go to Spain. And I never inherited that from her. But Je parle un petit français parce que j'ai étudié à l'école New York City pour six ans. Okay. I just said that I studied in a school in New York for six years and learned French, studied French. Cool. Yeah. But it, oh, it, you you forget the language. But then when I go to Spain, it takes about three four days, and and I get into the, the speaking. So I think that's so great. Yeah, I, but I, but, I, but I'm I'm a, I'm a totally. I don't I don't do math mm -hmm. because it, it's either okay. You can do both if you're a genius. But if you're good at languages, you suck at math, and uh -huh. it's vice versa. Really? Well, yeah. I suck at math and languages. Yeah, but you have certain other qualities. Yeah, I have other yeah. qualities. You can memorize a script uh, for 50, yeah. 50 pages of script. Yeah. I can't do that, so. Yeah, I have very good memorization, and I remember things. Um, I wanted to ask you, I, I want to tell the audience how I came to know Kenneth. Uh, we all know about Facebook and Twitter. Um, well, I broke my foot a year ago this week. And I was in St. Joseph's Hospital, and then I was in the Burbank Medical Center. And Facebook became incredibly important because I was so fucking bored in the hospital with my foot way up in a cast and couldn't move. I could not move. Anyway, that's my memory is that somehow we hooked up in that time frame. It, it may have been earlier than that, and it may have been a little later, but it was in that general area. Yeah, I've area. been trying to find out, but I don't. I, I think you're right, but I don't know how we became friends and, and what we started talking about. I don't well, I'll tell probably you, movies. I, I think you might have asked me a question, and I might have seen that you were Swedish. And yes. I'm, I'm obsessed with Sweden because Greta Garbo and Ingrid Bergman... You mentioned Greta Garbo. Now, now you're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah, I think I contacted you because of the Best of the Best, of the best movie. Okay. Because it's a cult movie and yeah. everybody knows it in Sweden. And that was my first Sally Kirkland moment in okay. Best of the Best. And, okay, the movie is a little bit corny. Yeah. But it's a fantastic... Uh, if you like Taekwondo. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's a little corny in the end, but I love it. I love it's the ending. I cry when I see the I ending. I do. I, okay. We I should tell you all that it's Eric Roberts, James Earl Jones, and Sally Kirkland, and Best of the Best, should you want to find it. Yeah, and it, it came out, I think, in 1919, Sweden. So, yeah. But it wasn't te theatrical. It was only on DVD, uh, on VHS uh, back in those days. Right. And it became an instant hit.
it. I think it was number one. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we love those action movies. Um, wow. So did you all like? Did you all get in Sweden, Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey? Yeah, yeah. It, I, I saw it in the cinemas. So you saw me. I did, but I. I mean, but you can't remember. Yeah, I've seen so many of your movies, and now when we have become friends, yeah, I I go back because I don't remember you from JFK, but the, I saw that twenty years but ago. But shall I describe who I am in JFK? Uh, yeah, and, uh, you have, you have, oh, okay. you, you did the other day. But for y'all who've forgotten, I opened the film JFK. I'm thrown out of a car, and I say, "You fucking asshole." And then the next thing you know, you see Jackie come down the plane and Jack come down the plane and yeah. and the whole awful... Well, anyway, you don't see him killed yet. You see me wheeled into the office, I mean wheeled into the hospital, and I'm saying, they're going to kill the president. And I'm screaming hysterically on heroin withdrawal with a bandage around my head. And Oliver Stone, with my permission, we shot it in one take. Mm the whole thing. I need to see, uh, I need to rewatch it. And that's the funny thing because you mentioned how we met. Yeah. And it's a fairy tale. I mean, we started talking and we became friends and, and uh, I mean, we talked almost every day. Uh -huh. I, we talked every day. Uh -huh. And and I mean, after we became friends, I watched Revenge, for uh -huh. example. With Kevin Costner. And it takes on a, a whole new meaning when we're friends to right. see you in that and you're great in that movie too thank you yeah you, you kind of stole it there i i feel that tony scott god rest your soul tony yeah that he made me more beautiful physically than in any other movie i was in in that yeah. film i felt i, I mean y'all ha haven't seen revenge you got to catch revenge if you want to see sally with hair down to her waist and but that was back in the day when i had implants and and armbands and five holes in one ear with jewelry and yeah. a lot of S and M clothing. <laughs> and, it's, uh, and, and it's available on Blu-ray and looks great. And there's two versions. It's uh, right. I think the dire director's cut and the the normal cut. And it's like differs like 20 minutes. So it's oh, I haven't seen all, that. It's almost a different movie, but you're in both, so yeah. don't worry. So I uh, wonder if the one with the added, uh, there was a scene that was cut out. I wonder if he put it back in. Somebody put it back in. No, there. you're only in the, in the one. In the uh, stuff that. But you, you saw. might be in the uh, in the extra material on right. the uh, on the Blu-ray. But uh, but I haven't seen the Blu-ray so uh, the uh, extra material. Um, but it's a great looking film. Um, I don't love it without hesitation, but uh, it's, it's beautifully shot. Yeah, uh, he has and, a real and art so eye, artful eye. And action. He, he, nobody could do action like Tony Scott. Tony Scott, yeah. right. Yeah, and, and my favorite movie from the 90s is True Romance, which came True out Romance, in 1993. Right. A perfect movie. Yeah. Uh, Quentin wrote the... Uh, well, part of script. what attracted me to you on Facebook was you write such great reviews of all the movies. Well, I do. I, I try to write every... Because I have a lot of friends from all over the world, and I watch a lot of movies. One, one, maybe two, three per day, when I'm, when I'm, even when I'm working. Because uh -huh. it is, it's a... Well, I need to stay updated, and I love old movies. So right. it's a lot of movies. Right. Uh, yeah. I just recently re-saw Sunset Boulevard. Well, I recently was on Sunset Boulevard for the first time in my life. Really? So I, I don't know how, why it's taken 40 years for me to come to L.A. And now when I'm here, I love, I'm loving it. Oh, great. Uh, but I've been to the States before, but not L.A. Yeah. Uh, I, there's a reason why people migrate to L.A. Um, the weather is beautiful, of course. Yeah. And there's more of a laid-back lifestyle here than in New York. Yeah. New York I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. But I found that ultimately... Uh, well, I had a nervous breakdown in New York in my 20s, and ultimately I ran out of money in New York. It's yeah. a really expensive city to live in. It is, and it's, it's, I, I've been there, and I, I mean, I love the city. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah, wow. it's hard but not to I, but, love but, it. But, to, but to, uh, it's like, how much was an apartment nowadays? It's like A studio can cost yeah. 4000 Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, though we in Sweden, we have these... Um, um, I don't know, thoughts or about Americans, about your government, because uh -huh. people in the street, they don't really seem to care for your government at the moment and the economic crisis and, right. and whatnot. Uh, and the Republicans keep threatening to get rid of Medicare yeah. and Social Security. Yeah. And that's not what we want to hear. We want to hear that, that we as a nation are a democratic one, you know. Yeah, but what I, what I was coming to, that, that Americans as a whole, they are so nice. 
I mean, there oh, are. Nice. I mean, there are, of course, idiots. But th there's idiots in every country. But you Americans, you are so nice. I, 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 that's why I love it here because I had three, three trips to the states, and I loved all three. Uh -huh. But I love this because I'm with you. So. This oh, is my thank favorite. you, Kenneth. Yeah. And you know, it's such a joy for me to be with you and 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 our, my new friend, your friend Claire, uh, because I feel like I'm in Sweden. And all my life, people have asked me if I was Swedish, and uh, yeah, or actually, German, yeah, Swedish yeah. or German, and and I've said no, I'm actually uh, Irish, Scot, English. Mm. Um, but uh, and if truth be told, my mother's family, I believe, maybe my father's. Are, are DARs, Daughters of the American Revolution. So I go back a long ways. Okay. My my uh, piece of trivia, my father's side of the family, his great, 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 whatever, great grandfather came over from Switzerland during the French Revolution. And he was about to be killed and his family and somehow he got them out of the country to America, to New Jersey. Okay. And he had a lot of money so he bought up all of the land and the people in New Jersey didn't know how to speak French, so they called him the Frenchman. So eventually, Frenchtown, New Jersey, was named after my ancestor. Why well, didn't know Isn't that? Isn't that interesting? Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I want to ask you, what's the, your favorite film that you've ever seen? You put me on the spot. I um, knew I was going to put you on the spot. You can yeah. have your favorite two films. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All about Eve. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's. Um, I'm a big Betty Davis fan. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. And on the other side of the rainbow, is Pulp Fiction. Oh, because okay. Because I have I have a problem with Tarantino because uh, he loves Sweden, by the way. Yeah. Uh, my uh, girlfriend Claire uh -huh. um, met him when he came to the airport. He uh, he's there all the time. He uh -huh. loves to stroll around because nobody bothers uh, celebrities in in Sweden. That's we are we are respectful. Right. So many Hollywood. Uh, actors come there, uh -huh. um, but his movies. I love his movies. Yeah. But he's. I would like to see an original Tarantino movie uh -huh. from his script because every movie is all, always based or borrowed from an older one. That's true. Yeah. So Inglorious Bastards uh -huh. is an Italian film from 1978 called Inglorious Bastards. Right. And Kill Bill is from the um, um, uh, Japanese movies. Uh, right. Yeah, and, and every movie is, he, he borrows, but he's so fantastic at dialogue. Right. I mean, I would love to see you in a Tarantino movie. Well, I've movie. asked him many times. At one point he kept saying, yeah, I want you to be in this movie we're shooting in, uh, where was it, Japan or? Yeah, that's Kill Bill movies. Kill Bill, uh, I'm, I'm right. Guessing. And you're going to be this madam or something like that. And I was so excited. And then he he had breakfast with me one day at a place called the Silver Spoon, which mm -hmm. doesn't exist anymore. But people in West Hollywood remember the Silver Spoon. And uh, I said, "Now about the madam." And he said, "Oh, Sally, I'm so sad to tell you that they're making me hire a local actress because I have too many American actors coming over, and I oh, have." Oh, they need they need. So local then I flavor. said. Well, you have to hire me for a movie, Quentin, before I die. I got very dramatic in the middle of the Silver Spoon. I said, I don't, you, you, you said you're going to hire me, so hire me. You know, I, I'm getting up there now. Don't wait forever. And we had a huge scene in the middle of the restaurant about him hiring me. So anyway, he likes me. Um, yeah. He's a friend. He was in a documentary about me okay. talking about how much he liked my work. So that was nice. Yeah, there's nothing that Tarantino doesn't know about movies. Yeah. He's a big genre fan. He likes all all the stuff that I do. So when he do, uh, he makes a movie like Pulp Fiction, it's I think it's for me because we like it's all he he loves those old movies. Uh, but you would be with the dialogue he writes. Right. You would be wow. Well, we'll put that out there in the ether. yeah because they stole his script or uh, some script the new film Tarantino's script. Uh, oh, that's it, right. It, yeah, they, it, they canceled it, it the whole leaked, thing. Yeah, it leaked uh, online. Right. Uh, so he's canceled the whole thing. So that's bad. That would be an, an opportunity for you. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah. Who's your favorite actor? Besides you? Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> you put me on the spot again. But if you. Cur current one, or one two. Michael Fassbender. Oh, great. Let's yeah. talk about why Michael's so good. From my point of view, Michael Fassbender is one of the only um, imports from Europe yeah. that truly understands what I've been doing at the Actors Studio since the 60s. 
which is method acting, which is sort of an American phenomena. Mm -hmm. um, but it started in Russia with Stanislavski and the group yeah. theater and, yeah. uh, and all of that. And he, is, he comes from his gut and he comes from his heart and his soul. And, and he does these extraordinary breakdown scenes where you just cry with him. You know, he's yeah. so macho and he's so sensitive at the same time. You know? Uh, because British actors, they are world class. Yeah. But he comes from a totally different, uh, yeah. like you say, and that makes him, uh, he, it makes him the best. I mean, it w what's the future for him? 12 years a slave? Yeah. I mean, wow. Extraordinary. Yeah, and extraordinary. then he turns around in The Counselor yeah. and he plays a very sensitive, almost too vulnerable, you know, for his own good yeah, character. Uh, yeah. He so was plain. He, I've never seen. I, I think I've never seen anybody s so evil as he was in Twelve Years a Slave. Twelve Years a Slave. I have a friend, my former manager, who thought who had to st stop it and pause it yeah. every ten minutes or so because he couldn't handle the intensity. Yeah, we're not going to spoil it, but I mean, he. But you must see this movie. Yeah, it's, they, it's they've heard me say this before. Yeah. Um, there's a performance that. If you can get a hold of, see Michael Fassbender and Jane Eyre if you're a romantic. Because he plays, um, I guess Orson Welles did it originally or something, but he plays the, the male hero. And I don't want to ruin this story for you if you don't know it, but by the end of the film, I'll say this, he's blind. And you're weeping. I, I went to the theater by myself and I'm sitting in the audience and I'm watching. I had no idea who this man is. I'd never seen him consciously before. Okay. And I get caught up in the story, and I want these two people to be in love and to stay in love yeah. and to live happily ever after. And clearly, by the end, it, things were difficult for that to happen. And, and I was crying, and I couldn't leave the theater. I stayed in my seat for about 10 or 15 minutes, weeping. Yeah. Now, that doesn't happen very often with me, because yeah. usually I'm ahead of the audience. I'm a, I, I know acting. And so I thought, who is this person? Yeah. And, and then I had to go look it up, and it said Michael Fassbender. I'd never heard of him before. And, and then I made a point to find out more about him, and I began to see all of his films. But I, oh. I, I hope he hears this, because coming from you, that's a compliment to, to die for. Oh, uh, thank you. Wow. Uh, I, I really am critical about actors. And uh, yeah. I, I just, I think he's an actor's actor, and I think all of you actors out there, if you're not familiar, Get a hold of Hunger, Shame, and, and 12 Years a Slave, all three by Steve McQueen. And don't forget about the, uh, it came out in 2008. Fish Tank. Fish Tank, an, a British movie, very low key, but uh, a fantastic movie. And that was the first time I saw him. Yeah. Uh, your, your was Yen, Yen, uh, the Yane movie, Yane Eyre. That was your first. The, 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 the one Eyre, yeah. yeah. That's the first. Yeah. Your Swedish accent sometimes. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> Uh, but my first was Fish Tank, and, uh, and, and I mean, he's brilliant. But that's the, the his uh, current. But from the old old ones, but I don't know about acting. But Humphrey Bogart, because he was, he's he's an icon, right? And I love his movies. So, yeah, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall were so great to watch together. Yeah. And for me, Greta Garbo and Ingrid Bergman, and um, I loved Gary Cooper. Uh, and early on Henry Fonda and uh, and then when it got to be the 50s um, Marlon Brando and James Dean yeah I remember I, w I went to film school and we, uh -huh. we I think we saw 10 movies per semester uh -huh. uh, the first one was Seven Samurai the Kurosawa epic uh, uh -huh. the second one was Psycho I think and third was the Sunset Boulevard uh -huh. and then on on the waterfront and I was pretty young, but when I saw he, his acting in, in that movie, uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. That, that was when I decided, oh, I'm going to be into movies for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he sold it for me. Now, you just said something that interests me. You went to film school. Most people go to film school to want to be directors, film directors. Yeah, but this was film theory so okay. we, we, uh, or, and film history. So okay. we didn't know anything about making movies, just about movies. So that's but I heard you say earlier in the day that you have a friend who's a filmmaker who's yeah. doing the horror genre and you're yeah. thinking of hooking up with him and maybe getting involved with making Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I've, I've done some uh, extra work in Swedish movies, uh, big budget Swedish movies. Um, uh, for example, uh, Joel Kinnaman, who is now 
a big Swede here in r- the new Robocop movie. Uh-huh. He started out in Sweden in a, in a movie called Snabba Cash. It's called Easy Money. Uh-huh. Uh, Martin Scorsese loved it. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a gangster movie. Uh-huh. I was in the second one as an extra. Uh-huh. And I've been a lot in a lot of movies uh, there. Uh, and well, we have to get you with lines. Yeah, we have to. Bec- but I was in David Fincher because he filmed in Sweden. It, it was the f- not the first time a big uh, Hollywood studio had had made a movie, but recently it was the first time. Um, so, and David Fincher is a very nice guy, very meticulous, but and very nice. So that mm-hmm. was an experience I, I would kill for, and I loved it every minute. But I ended up cut from the movie. When you first um, were talking to me on Facebook early on, yeah. um, some months ago, you said, can I hire you to coach me acting? Yeah, you because I, I, I am, I'm interested in doing that, I, to see if I have the ability. I don't think so, but we should we should try. And we won't be negative. Then yeah. you said, I said to you, well, when you come here, I'll have you do some monologues, because I work with actors with monologues. Yeah. And then I picked out some for you, and you came here and you said, no, 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 I'm not interested in it. Well, I, I've been so busy. Yeah. Next time, I, I'm returning soon, so okay. then we're going to do it, I promise. Okay. We're going to do more of that. Okay. At sea. That'll be great. Yeah. So, let's see, what haven't I covered? Um, so, okay, we have like a little over two minutes. What's been your favorite tourist spot in LA? Uh, I have to see, uh, I have um, uh, Huntington Gardens in the Pasadena. Huntington Gardens. I, 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 I strongly recommend that you go there. but. Please stay for more than three hours. Uh-huh. Uh, arrive when they open and go home when they close. Because really? it's fantastic. You have art, you have history, you have paintings, you have... Uh, literature. literature. Yeah, yeah. You have all the Canterbury Tales. You have everything. Wow. Uh, and then you have all these gardens of the uh, Japanese garden, Chinese garden. It's beyond... And it's so embarrassing because I've lived here since the early 70s. I never heard of it until Monty Hillman, the filmmaker, told you about it. And I'm so pleased to hear about it, you know, because I saw your photographs online and yeah. amazing. And in a big uh, city that uh, Los Angeles is, uh, it's an oasis. You go there to relax and to meditate. And, and it would per- be a perfect place for you, I think. So the now next time you, I'm... I'm yeah. You. Okay. Now, just for a couple seconds, say in Swedish to your family and friends into this camera. Hey, son. I'm in Hollywood and helps up on Sally Kirkland, and I hope that you have a good time at home. So, see us soon. Hey, da. Did you cover your children? Oh, I helps up to my daughter Emilia first, us, who is at home. Hey, da. Good. Um, well, we're wrapping up here. This has been so fun for me. I hope you'll do it again when you come back. I certainly will if you have, if, if you have me. Yeah. It's, you're the first European I've ever had on the show, and I've been doing this show for 10 years. Uh, well, okay. not including Britain. Okay. I've had British directors and actors and musicians, but Sweden, to me, had it not been for Greta Garbo and Ingrid Bergman, we would have no Sally Kirkland actress. And I mean, how remarkable is that, that we become friends from Sweden, and 